If I hadn't walked into Robin's room when I did, you would have injected her with God knows what, and Robin could be dead right now. If I wanted Robin dead, I wouldn't have dragged her out of a burning house. A house that you set on fire. That was an accident. Okay, but that didn't stop the, the police from dragging me out when Robin accused me of attempted murder. And then here we are, a few weeks later, it's the exact same thing. What is this, the second, third, tenth time? Okay, I'm s sick of it. I'm gonna call the lawyer. Well, nobody charged you with anything. Well, what are you waiting for? I saw Lisa standing over Robin with a syringe. The preliminary analysis came back, all right? There's no indication that any drug other than the one that was prescribed was injected into Robin's IV line. Okay. What part of I stopped Lisa before her crazy ass could kill you, my you know, cousin? You really Do you just not need understand? to calm down because you, you could be the one facing charges, okay? Okay, my dad's the police commissioner. He signs your paychecks. Come on, it's not gonna help. Neither is he! What about the syringe? Uh, my guys are searching the corridor where uh, Dr. Niles was seen after coming out of Robin's room, but so far no hypodermics were found. Uh, not on the floor, in the trash cans, or in any of the rooms. Oh, then Lisa must still have it. You know what, you can go ahead and search me, but you won't find a syringe in my pockets. Because you stashed it somewhere. Because I didn't have one. All right, everyone just please calm down, okay? Because if there's a syringe, we're going to find it. Are the pain meds wearing off? <sighs> the burn is the least of my worries right now. Well, it's important that you don't get all stressed. I mean, you know your system is already compromised by the HIV. The last thing you need is to get an infection. Well, maybe I wouldn't be stressed if someone wasn't trying to kill me. I mean, I just want this nightmare to be over. Hopefully, Maxie found something in that syringe, and there is proof that Lisa wants me dead. You just need to relax. Let the police handle it. Well, they haven't been able to so far. I mean, even my Uncle Max's hands are tied. Lisa's probably talking her way out of it as we speak. You know, Maxie would have come in here. She would have told me that she was in jail or something. So, something's wrong. Did you ever think that maybe that something could be Maxie? I know you're not her biggest fan. Okay, I I'm just saying she's not the most reliable witness. She tends to lie at the drop of a hat. Maybe she exaggerated what she saw just to get back at Lisa for sleeping with Patrick. Except for the fact that I woke up and I saw her in here. Lisa was trying to hurt me, and I just have to prove it. I want to go over your story again. Could you please be taking notes or something so we don't waste time repeating things when you could be, I don't know, arresting Lisa? You know, this is a very serious accusation, you mean? And I don't care who your father is, okay? I'm not going to arrest Dr. Niles without making sure that there's just cause. Maxie saw Lisa standing over Robin with a syringe. I'd say that qualifies. But she's a doctor. That, that's her job. Robin is not her patient. Look, Maxie said herself that it happened fast. I interview witnesses all the time that uh, make assumptions about a situation and remember them as facts. All right, what is going on? There was an incident in Robin's room. Uh, an alleged incident. I walked into Robin's room and saw Lisa standing over Robin with a syringe ready to inject her IV. Those are the facts. What more do you need that, that Lisa is a psycho? Okay, how long am I supposed to sit here and listen to being called names? I have work to do. <sighs> Maxie's already given her statement. So in the interest of patient care and not further escalating things, I think we should just let her take a walk and clear her head unless, of course, you've got more questions. No, I, I think I have everything I need for now. All right, good. Well, why don't we get you some coffee? I don't want any coffee. I want this detective to do his job and frisk this bitch. Okay, low blood sugar. We'll find some food and stuff in your mouth while we're at it. Let's go. Okay, well, uh, if I'm done, I have patients waiting. Just don't leave the hospital. Okay. So that's it? Well, until we find the syringe. Yeah. You know what, Lisa, syringe or not, there's no need for you to be in Robin's room. He's right. You're not... Robin's doctor, and the patient you were treating down the hall is discharged. So why were you in a room? Well, I wasn't trying to kill Robin, if that's what you're getting at. So you're just trying to provoke her once again. I can't believe you're all buying into Maxie's hysteria. I mean, she obviously feels guilty about setting the fire, and she's trying to make it up to Robin by backing up all of her crazy claims. So if you're as innocent as you claim, why would you take off running? Because it's a natural reaction when you're being chased by an angry mob. Because you still haven't told us why you were in a room. Well, maybe I thought I'd give Robin another chance. I'd see if she could be civil, and then I'd consider dropping the petition. I or maybe you're trying to rile her up so when she got in front of the board, she'd lose it and you'd look like the rational one, yeah? Okay, the only person trying to rile people up 
is you oh. because you just keep making accusations. Right, enough, you can't enough, do enough. How? There may not be evidence of a threat, but the fact that you went into Robin's room is enough to indicate unnecessary provocation. You're on probation. Your OR privileges are revoked and you're being temporarily transferred to the ER where I can keep an eye on you. Well, we might have to take that up with the board at the hearing. The hearing is canceled. If you aggravate Robin in any way or approach her again, you will be fired from this hospital. All I'm saying is hitting the guy's face and calling him a lousy cop is, is not the best way to get him to no, listen. No, Ronnie was ready to let Lisa go even after I caught her trying to kill Robin. Yeah, without, without proof... Hello, th I was an eyewitness. I walked in there and caught Lisa standing over Robin with a syringe full of something that should be enough to lock her up. Okay. What, why don't you go talk with Robin? I, I haven't had this coffee. No, what do you want me to say coffee? to her? I'm sorry Lisa got off scot-free again because I failed to come through. I failed to come through? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? I don't... This is the ER. They're bringing in a trauma. Go, I don't need a babysitter. Don't leave here without talking to me. Hey, Lexi. What was up with that oh, uh, circus over at that nurse station earlier? Oh, Lisa Niles is the circus. More like a freak show rolled into one. She's been gaslighting Robin, trying to make her look crazy. And then tonight, I walked into Robin's room and Lisa was standing over her with a syringe that was probably full of poison. Well, Lisa is a doctor. Are you sure she wasn't trying to give Robin some sort of pain medication or something? She's not Robin's doctor. Still, it seems like a little bit of a stretch, huh? Hold on, wait. Why is everybody so quick to defend Lisa? No, 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 no. I'm not defending anybody. I'm just saying, you know, how you have a tendency to exaggerate things sometimes. If Lisa hadn't ditched that syringe... This wouldn't even be an issue. She would be on her way to Shady Brook in a straitjacket. Right. Where are you going? I'm going to find that syringe. I know it's around here somewhere. That is the worst part about being in here. You know, I'm missing out on so many things with Emma, and Lisa's just. whatever. I just. I have to stop. I have to stop and be grateful for the fact that I'm alive. Yes. And you have an amazing daughter and friends and family who adore you. And Patrick. I don't know what Patrick and I are to each other anymore. Don't you still love him? Hey. Thank you for staying. Yeah, of course. Is everything okay? Steve will fill you in. I just need a second for Robin, if that's all right. Sure. I'll be back to check on you. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. What happened? Did she get away with it? Well, not exactly. They arrest her? No, they can't find the needle. Without the needle, they can't prove intent. Of course not. But Steve agreed with me the fact that Lisa showed up in your room is enough to put her on probation. She can't operate anymore. She's been transferred to the ER until further notice. And if she comes anywhere near you, she's going to get fired. for fighting for me and thank you for thank you for believing in me Robert, of course I always believe in you I just hope we can all get over this and we can start working on our family again well let's let's not jump into anything that we don't know is the right choice for us we have to think about our daughter I was um, going to call you. I wanted to talk to you about Thanksgiving. The boys and I are going over to Graham's and we wanted to invite you. You and Spencer. I'll be there too. You know, for Aiden. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds, sounds great. We'd love to come. Thank you. Great. I'll let Graham know. Okay. Uh, anyway, as, as I said, it's unfortunate that this feud between Robin and Lisa has come to this. They're both great doctors and assets to this hospital, you know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But things were starting to get out of hand between them, and I had to step in before this became a hostile work environment. Yeah. Uh, and look, it's, it's no secret that Robin and I are friends, but if I'm being completely objective about this, I'm, I'm not convinced that Lisa was treated fairly. I mean, compared to Robin's attacks, <laughs> Lisa did relatively little, yet she's the one who's been suspended. If the police had found a syringe, this would be an entirely different conversation. Right, and until we have something concrete like that, I think it's in this hospital's best interest to not take sides. I heard the attending 
talking about it down in the ER and I thought you'd want to know. Well, probation isn't enough punishment for all the crap Lisa's pulled, but I'll take any victory over that nut job, even a small one. Should we go to Jake's and celebrate? I would be happy to go raise the glass, but I'd want to know what we're drinking to first. So be honest with me. Did you frame Lisa? Hey! Hey. Surprise? Yeah, I, uh, I would have come by sooner. No, I'm at but... the flowers. I remember you saying something about not liking seeing flowers in a hospital room. Watching them wilt and die when they should be in the ground where they belong. Right. I, I really still don't see the point, but they're from Brenda, and Spinelli was supposed to deliver them, but I had him work on something else, so. Well, very there beautiful. you go. Thank you very much. I, um, I really <clears throat> would have come by sooner. Oh, no, I know. I... It's okay. I know. You have your hands full with Brenda. But you got a break. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good to see you. How are you feeling? Um, better. You know, it's just, uh, it's just one burn, right? It's healing. You know what? <clears throat> Why don't we talk about something else? Because I'm tired of talking about my own problems. Okay. It's actually one of the great things about having Brenda back in town. She's able to stir up all this drama to distract us from our own lives. I don't believe this. You're taking Lisa's side too. It was a simple question. No, no, no. That was an accusation and you're basically calling me a liar. No, th that is not what I am doing. I was in the room with you and Robin when you suggested framing Lisa. Matt, that was a joke. That's why I pitched framing Lisa for devil worship, not attempted murder. I, I, okay. And I know how protective you can be of Robin. I also know how devious you can be when you put your mind to it, and how convincing you can be when properly motivated. So you are calling me a liar? I am just saying it's quite convenient that you talk about framing Lisa, and then you see a syringe in her hand that nobody can find. Maxie. Did you frame Lisa? Nicholas! Hey! Hey, hey! I never caught you! Uh, I didn't get a chance to thank you at the hospital. Hey, thank me for what? Well, you were, you were the only one who even tried to remain objective. And I know you and Robin are good friends, so I really appreciate that. Yeah, well, it's, it's my job to ensure that everyone on staff is treated fairly. But... Well, I don't know if me being put on probation is really fair. Especially since I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but you know, it's just a bad situation all the way around. If you stick to your probation and stay away from Robin, you'll be back in surgery in no time. I should probably just leave. I mean, that's what everybody wants, is being to transfer to some other hospital. Well, what do you want? I just want to go to work and see my patients and not have to worry about being dragged out in handcuffs. But I, if I left, it would be an admission of guilt. So I have to stay and clear my name. And there's no evidence against me except for what Maxie said. Well, if Maxie lied and said she saw you with some syringe in a misguided attempt to help Robin and she and everyone else, well, you and the would be a big one. <laughs> I won't hold my breath, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I, trust me, I know what it's like to be the villain. So it says a lot about you that you're willing to... Stay on, it's like we have lots of more to put in. So what do you think is going to happen with Brenda and Sonny? I don't want to know. Oh, come on. No, I don't. Come on, what would be so horrible about two people no, being together they, they that not, love each they other? They are not good for each other. It's like an explosion waiting to happen, and then you got Carly in the mix. You throw her in, Who she's going to act out, and everything's going to Who cares about Carly? She and Sunny are divorced. Y yeah. Okay, she shouldn't have a say in who Sunny is with. And don't say the thing about the kids, because Michael is 18, Jax is adopting Morgan. It's time for her to not use Sunny's kids against him anymore. Sorry. You, you still with Brenda? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna handle it. Brenda's with Sonny? Yeah, at his old apartment. I gotta get her. No, we don't, don't. Just give them a chance to see where it goes. <laughs> 